Tonight, a local vigil was held for the victims of that horrific shooting in Colorado Springs. Five people killed, more than a dozen hurt in a targeted attack on the LGBTQ plus community. Our Bryce Newberry joins us now live from Montrose, where a large crowd gathered this evening to show support. Bryce. Keith and Lisa, this parking lot filled with community members to grieve and honor the lives lost in Colorado Springs and the resounding message that acts of hate will only embolden this community. Notes filled the air, pride flags flew high, and candles flickered bright as the Houston community mourned the Colorado Springs LGBTQ nightclub shooting victims. It hit me like a ton of bricks. It was really hard news. Dylan Forbes and dozens of others uniting in solidarity after the attack rocked the LGBTQ community. Make this be our commitment to turn prayer into action. Action Representative Jolanda Jones is fighting for at the state legislature. Texas is a hotbed of transphobia and homophobia. A lot of people, maybe if they knew people in our community, they might understand us. And so I'm here to show people who we are. We're just like you are. Wednesday, the accused shooter made their first court appearance in Colorado. Anderson Lee Aldrich, who identifies as non-binary, is charged with five counts of first degree murder and five counts of allegedly committing those crimes as part of a bias attack. We're gonna review for all appropriate charges. And that's all I'm gonna say. Tragic circumstances energizing this group, showing the strength of the LGBTQ community from Colorado to Texas. When one of us gets hurt, we all r rally together. We are not cowering, we are not afraid, we are out, we are proud, and we're going to push back. A judge ordered Aldrich to be held without bond. That suspect is due back in court again the first week of December. Reporting live in Montrose tonight, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Bryce, thank you.